Hi everyone! The next topic is all about the differentiation of exponential function. Again, we have here two formulas to be used. First formula is the derivative of a raised to u with respect to x where a is any constant and u is any given function is equal to a raised to u multiplied to ln a then multiplied to the derivative of u with respect to x. And the second formula we have is the derivative of e raised to u with respect to x is equal to e raised to u multiplied to the derivative of u with respect to x. So again, take note of these two formulas kasi ito ay gagamitin natin later on sa ating examples. Okay, for the first example, we have to find for the derivative of 2 raised to 3x with respect to x. So we'll apply here the first formula. So, we'll have 2 raised to 3x multiplied to ln of 2 then multiplied to the derivative of 3x with respect to x. Then, the second step, so we'll have to copy 2 raised to 3x and then multiply to ln 2 and then multiply to the, the derivative of 3x, which is equal to 3. And ln2 times 3 could also be written as this one. So let's just copy 2 raised to 3x. So since constant yung 3, lagay natin siya sa unahan. So 2 raised to 3x multiplied to 3 ln of 2. And 3 ln2 could be written as like this. So we just copy 2 raised to 3x again. So, 3 ln 2 could also be written as ln 2 raised to 3 by this identity. So, the identity is x ln y is equal to ln y raised to x. So, yung constant 3 natin dito sa unahan. So, it will be the exponent of um nitong to dito. By this, I given identity. So, take note of this identity kasi magagamit natin yan sa mga susunod pang examples. And, by simplifying, 2 raised to 3 is equal to 8. So, that's why our final answer is equal to 2 raised to 3x multiplied to ln of 8. Okay, for the second example, find for the derivative of 4 raised to 3x minus 2 with respect to x. So, again, apply the first formula. So, we'll have 4 raised to 3x minus 2 multiplied to ln 4 and then multiplied to the derivative of 3x minus 2 with respect to x. Okay, so just copy 4 raised to 3x minus 2, then multiply to ln 4, and then multiply to the derivative of 3x minus 2, which is equal to 3. So again, let's combine ln of 4 and uh, 3, so that's why it will be equal to, just copy again, 4 raised to 3x minus 2. So, this will be equal to 3 multiplied to ln 4. And then, again, by using the identity presented earlier, 3 ln 4 could also be written as this one. So, it will be written as ln 4 raised to 3. And then, by simplifying 4 raised to 3, so, that's why the final answer is equal to 4 raised to 3x minus 2 and then multiply to ln 64. So, 4 raised to 3 is equal to 64. So, kaya ito yung final answer natin. Third example, find for the derivative of 5 raised to 5x plus 1 with respect to x. By applying the first formula, we'll have 5 raised to 5x plus 1 
multiplied to ln 5 and then multiply to the derivative of 5x plus 1 with respect to x. Then by simplifying again, so we'll have here 5 raised to 5x plus 1 multiplied to ln 5 and then the derivative of 5x plus 1 is equal to 5. So let's combine these two. So just copy again 5 raised to 5x plus 1 and then ln 5 multiplied to 5 will be equal to 5 ln 5. And then by applying the identity earlier, so again copy. So 5 ln 5 could also be written as ln 5 raised to 5. And for the final answer, we'll have 5 raised to 5x plus 1 multiplied to ln of 3125 because 5 raised to 5 is equal to 3125 and yun na yung final answer natin and for the fourth example we have the derivative of e raised to 3x minus 1 with respect to x so in here we're going to apply the second formula so we'll have e raised to 3x minus 1 multiplied to the derivative of 3x minus 1 with respect to x. And then, let's just copy e raised to 3x minus 1. And what is the derivative of 3x minus 1 with respect to x? So, it is equal to 3. And then, let's simplify. So, constant lagi ulit natin sa unahan. So, that's why we'll have 3 multiplied to e raised to 3x minus 1 for the final answer. And for the last example, find for the derivative of e raised to x over 2 with respect to x. So again, apply the second formula. So we'll be having e raised to x over 2 and then multiply to the derivative of x over 2 with respect to X. So, dito sa x over 2, we're going to apply the quotient rule. So, again, let's just copy e raised to x over 2. Then, by applying the quotient rule, so we'll have 2 multiplied to the derivative of x with respect to x. And then, minus x multiplied to the derivative of 2 with respect to x all over to square. So, let's simplify. Just copy e raised to x over 2 and then multiply 2. So, 2 multiplied to the derivative of x raised to x. So, is, this is equal to 1. So, 2 times 1 is equal to 2. And then minus x multiplied to the derivative of 2 with respect to x. So, since constant siya and the derivative of any constant is 0, so we'll have, her, we'll have here 0 and then all over 2 squared which is equal to 4. Okay? Simplify ulit natin. So, this will be equal to e raised to x over 2 multiplied to 2 minus 0 is equal to 2 over 4. Okay, so we can simplify 2 over 4. So, 2 over 4 will be equal to... 2 over 4 will be equal to 1 over 2. And let's just multiply e raised to x over 2 by 1 half. So, that's why for the final answer, we'll have e raised to x over 2 all over 2. So, yun yung final answer natin. Okay, I want you to try these examples and let's reveal the answer on our next meeting. We thank you guys for listening and we hope that you learn. Goodbye!